Okay, so this is the third video in the build up to the Spanish Armada and this focuses mainly on the problems that Elizabeth was facing in the Netherlands and the little thorny issue of what happens at Cadiz. And this is when things really start hotting up between England and Spain with uh, there being conflicts between um, the, the English who were supporting the troops in Holland, in the Netherlands, fighting the Spanish and the actions of Drake, especially um, a raid that he leads on Cadiz in Spain. So what was happening? What was going on in the Netherlands? Well, as a bit of background, you've got the English had signed the Treaty of Nonsuch in 1585. So this meant that it was a, an agreement between the Dutch Protestant rebels. So obviously now that was making war more likely and conflict more likely with the Spanish. England promised to, to provide around 7,400 soldiers to help the Dutch and these would be led by Sir Robert Dudley, the Earl of Leicester and he would work with the rebels and he would work with the government to try and get Spain out. Now, as a result of all this, war was more likely even though it had not been formally declared. So I know what you're all thinking, you're thinking, how did it go in the Netherlands for them? Well, not that great in all honesty. Elizabeth still hoped to negotiate with um, Philip, so she didn't really give Dudley much in the way of resources. Some of Dudley's officers even defected as a result to Spain, so not an ideal situation. It, you know, essentially Dudley and Elizabeth wanted different things from it. Dudley's aim was to completely end Spanish rules, whereas Elizabeth wanted a return to how it was. She was quite happy for um, Spain to be in charge, but she wanted certain freedoms. Overall then, very little was actually achieved in the Netherlands. Dudley only really managed to disrupt the Spanish forces. He certainly didn't manage to defeat them. Um, he did manage to prevent the capture of Ostend though. And I'm sure you're all aware of Ostend. It's a deep water port. You don't need me to tell you. But it's a deep water port um, which is on the English Channel. And this was important because this denied the opportunity for the Spanish Armada to meet with the Duke of Parma there with his troops in 1588. So now for Cadiz. Yeah, Spain had been gradually been building a fleet of ships and they'd been building this from 1586. Their plan for this armada was to invade England. Now then, in March 1587, Elizabeth ordered Sir Francis Drake to attack the Spanish Navy. She was sending him and uh, some of his ships down to a port called Cadiz to attack them in their own home. So between the 19th and the 22nd of April, Drake attacked the Spanish naval port of Cadiz. The, he destroyed around 30 ships and lots of supplies. Uh, and, and lots of supplies. So this, is, this became known as the singeing of the King of Spain's beard, which as you know, if you do have a beard, that can be really irritating. Here's an image of a man who I can only assume got his beard singed, just to help that stick in your mind. But just do bear in mind that this man is probably having a lot more fun than Philip II was. But we'll get rid of him and we're back to Sir Francis. So then, just to finish with, what were the outcomes of Cadiz? Well, Spain had to defend itself against Drake. Um, and as, as such, this slowed the construction of the armada. It's very difficult to build an armada of ships when you're being attacked. Yep, so that slowed things down. Drake, the hope that, however, only delayed the building of the armada by about a year. Um, so, you know, in the scheme of things, it wasn't that long. And what this did, it bought England a bit more time to prepare for the eventual invasion. The next video, we'll have a look at how Philip went about planning his invasion. Thank you.